So today we are going to discuss how to score your questionnaire. And in this example, we wanted to see whether personality was related to whether a person was a cat person or a dog person. So we've included three psychometric personality tests, one which measures a person's level of agreeableness, one which measures a person's level of extroversion, and one which measures a person's level of honesty, humility. Now, as it's set up currently, if you click on the cog and click on recode values, you can see how the data is currently coded. So for all of the statements in this questionnaire or in this psychometric test, uh, any time someone clicks strongly disagree, it's coded as one. And you can see that these apply to all of them. Um, however, many times when you do psychometric tests, there's reverse scores. Um, and also, you might want to just create a sum at the end. So you want to calculate a person's level or sum of agreeableness. So even though in your raw data you will always have this, what you can do is create an extra column in your data, which is a sum of all a person's responses and this sum can take into account reverse scoring. So to do this, we want to click on Tools and we want to select Scoring. This brings up a new page and we want to create three new scoring categories because we don't want a mass sum of agreeableness, extroversion and honesty, humility together. We want a separate score for each of our scales. So select the drop down menu and click on Manage Categories. Now we want to create a new category, one for agreeableness, one for extroversion, and one for honesty, humility. Then we want to select save. Now we've created three blank scoring categories and we now need to add numbers to these. So we're going to use the drop down menu to select our first category, agreeableness. And then we're going to scroll down to the agreeableness questions. And we can start typing numbers in these boxes. So essentially this is what you want the sum to be calculated with. So these figures. So I'm going to type in one, two, three, four, five. Now you can type any number into this box, so you can type whatever you wish. Um, sometimes um, you have reverse scores, so you alternatively can type 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Again, this isn't what's scored in your raw data. You don't get these individual numbers. This just contributes to a column in your data which provides an overall sum. And you'll see what I mean at the end. So we want to just quickly add the rest of our numbers in. So now we've filled in all the numbers here for agreeableness. We want to change the category so we can start coding for extroversion. So you click on the drop down menu, select extroversion. And as you scroll down, you can now see that this is blank. It's starting from fresh and starting with a new set of numbers that you're going to type in. And I'm going to show you a quick cheat. If you click on the drop down menu, you can set all scores in a column to a certain number. And it makes it a little bit quicker if you do this. So you can score everything in a normal way and then just change the ones that are reverse scored. And that can save you a little bit of time. So now we've finished our reverse scoring as well on this one, we can move over to our final category, Honesty Humility. Okay, so once you've finished coding for Honesty Humility, you want to scroll back up and you want to click back to the editor. Sometime later, you would have collected your data and you want to see what it looks like. So if we scroll across to 
our actual raw data. These are still coded as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, as you can see, as you can see here. However, what we now have, if we go back to the beginning, is a score for each of our scales. So we've got an agreeableness sum, an extraversion sum, and an honesty humidity sum. And this score takes into account all the background reverse coding that we did to generate an overall sum. You also get alongside a weighted average and a weighted standard deviation Note that they are different to a normal average and a normal standard deviation. And essentially that is, that is it, that's how to score your data.